What's good, friends? Zero here, bringing you another Dragon Age Veilguard video. Today I am exploring the Arlathan Forest, and I wanted to show you uh, a couple things in this uh, upper sort of northwest corner of the map up here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to resolve this quest right here, uh, how to unlock this beacon up here, and collect all of the treasure chest in this location. There's also uh, a wolf statue where I'll also show you where you can pick that up here, uh, another one of these Finn Harel altars. Uh, in this area. So there's a lot of stuff uh, right up here. It's pretty easy to get to. Um, you may or may not have seen my other video I posted about uh, unlocking this shortcut bridge here. You don't actually have to complete that to get over to this area. You can still kind of go the long way uh, all the way around and still get up back to this area. Uh, but it definitely makes it a lot easier if you unlock uh, this shortcut bridge first. So when you get in here, it is a beautiful little grove back here with some ruins all around you, some nice floating platforms. Um, you can fast travel back here if you want to come and do this later, uh, but it's not actually too hard. So we're going to investigate this. Make sure you have Bellara in your Maybe if I looked at the crystals, it's party, because you're going to need her. Uh, you need her. Well, I guess you don't need her. You can just use the dagger, um, but I like to have the character who is actually going to be doing the actions with me if possible. Okay, uh, so we need to find all the crystals uh, that this thing is going to. There's one over there, one way up there, and then one over there. That will be the last one we pick up here. So, uh, we're gonna actually going to pop up this tree really quick because there is a treasure chest up at the top here, and I don't want to come down later. Just save me some time getting it out of the way. Right now. Woo, almost over jumped that. Alright, so we're going to swing around uh, this backside here. And actually, right up on that ledge is where we're going to get the wolf statue uh, a little bit later. Right there. Uh, but let's go ahead and focus in on the actual quest here first. Got it. If you are interested in the lore, there's a couple scrolls on the ground you can pick up, which I love the lore the in this game. The person who set this up was in contact with someone or something from the Fade. Alright, well, let's go up here to get number two. Uh, and what we're actually going to do is take a slight detour first uh, to unlock that beacon and open up the, uh, the wolf statue. That's all some people will eat. Is the second one. Collected notes on history. Um, so this is where we're going to take this slight detour here. So we're going to be able to move this to two locations. The last one will unlock the treasure chest and the final crystal. Uh, but we want to go all the way across first to open up that beacon and get the new statue. So we'll start by powering this one up. Just gonna hop across. I'm really bad at platforming on this game. I never feel like I can. I don't know if it's. I've only played a warrior, so I don't know if the other ones are maybe lighter and they can jump, but I can definitely feel the weight of his armor, it feels like. Alright, so we just unlocked that travel beacon. There's a chest up here, don't forget, and some mementos for the caretaker. Um. I don't think there's anything out on this platform yet. Uh, the wolf is back here. And another Fen Harel altar. Fen Harel. Point the way, wolfie. All right, that's up it for up here right now. Uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna get unlocked for maybe a mission or a story or something later. And then I suspect maybe you come out of that door back here. I don't know. Either way, I can't get in there yet. Ah! Um, so you actually do want to platform back across because we need to turn the uh, the laser back to a different place. So don't just drop down. I mean, of course, if you fall, it's not a big deal. But 
All right, so we're gonna turn this guy over to this little crystal right there. Come on, come on, come on. Power up. Oh shoot. Do I need to, oh, I might have to interact with it first. Dang, I forgot. Uh, you need to have Bellara actually interact with the crystal first before you can charge it. Dum, 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 dum. There we go. Don't do like me. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I had it charged up. Uh, so there's the wolf statue down there you can see. Um, we'll get that in a minute. A treasure chest. Another relic. Ah! Got poisoned. I saw that one coming too, and I still just let it poison me. Uh, here is the last crystal. Oh, both companions will attack. I don't want to attack the. I don't want you to attack either. What's going on? Oh, it's because I'm poisoned. Come on. Come on. There we go. Sure thing. That's all the crystals. Okay, Hopefully so all the crystals the are done. We can go back, finish up this quest, and then we will go pick up the little statue. It's not hard, but there's just a lot of stuff in this area that is easy to sure. overlook or uh, forget about. I hope I didn't forget any of the chests. I think I got them all. That's a person. Or that is a person. And it came out of the fade. This magic. It was designed to draw something in. I have a and feeling this is part of a larger chain of quests. We stop tampering. But I'm not the sure yet. Will reclaim it. I mean, look at that guy. I'm really curious. Like, I can wonder if I can like break this seal. I don't know. It's got to be come back, or I'll figure it out later. Um, anyways, that's the quest. I'll grab the wolf statue and wrap this up so you guys will have pretty much this whole uh, part of the map done. Oops, oops, wrong way. Uh, again, I already showed you where the wolf statue is. It is up on this platform uh, right up above us. Those are really handy for upping your overall health. Um, I recommend definitely finding all of those wolf statues that you can. If you have trouble finding where the statue's at, you can actually hear a wolf howling as you get closer to it. I don't know if you can hear that there. Uh, that'll give you an indication if you're close, if you're having trouble finding some of these. Ooh, that one actually gave me a skill point, not health. Nice! Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Hope you're enjoying the game. Check in the next one. Cheers.